black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, 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 what up world? Back with another one that I'm turbo excited about. Y'all know I love anything chicken fried buffalo with a bone that I can clean it right off. That didn't sound great, but you know what I mean. You might think it's almost pretty much game day around here. Look at this bad boy. Let's let you hit it from the back one time. That's really where it's coming from. Right up in the face there. Let's move the old Rancho Relaxo. So we got the buffalo fried chicken. And on the top boys, we got some, hello, maneuvers. We also got some uh, mozzarella cheese melted on the top. In the words of Ben Dean, as of right now, they're looking mighty fine. So I'm excited, but first we must, of course, we gotta pour up. Front and center, we're back with the Dr. P diet. Moment of silence. The fountain of youth. Tame your ass down there, Mr. Bubs. Come on now. It's the one thing about the diet sodas. Something about the aspartame keeps it so they aren't as tame in the bubble up. They get naughty in the bubble up. They take much more time. Ooh, above the rim. White boys can't jump though, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's the one right there. That's a reserve bottle from down uh, in, the, in the, the humidor, but that's not, it's the wine cellar, but also cigars would go with it. So you know what I mean? It's the one. Okay, I, I'm gonna tell you a story too about you know when I was younger with my best boy and just some funny shit kind of that we got up to but anything buffalo chicken always reminds me of this story because that's where my love affair with buffalo chicken began let's get this cheesy boy with the extra sauce steaming piping front and center tell me you're not here for it Wow. Mm. Don't you go nowhere, cheese. You go nowhere. Mozzarella cheese was killing it there. Oh, oh hot. Mmm, it's so good. So this recipe I just tried for this is actually that of Quan Trans and uh But it was, I attempted it in the air fryer instead of oil. And I'll say, I think it came out pretty damn good. Of course, we need to have a bite of ranch, otherwise it wouldn't be my channel. Mm-mm-mm. I gotta say, especially for it not getting done in oil, Kwan's uh, recipe came out crisp, nice crunch.
I'm in like a heaven state right now. This is so, so good. Extra saucy, just how I like it. And extra saucy, just how I like it. These are halal drumsticks as well, which means they are blessed. Let me tell you, these are blessed. It's fine chicken that's been butchered halal style to be more like it's like cleaner inside or something I try to always buy halal chicken it just seems nicer almost every time I've done it it's nicer okay so a story about my love affair and where it began with buffalo chicken. My family was very non-adventurous when it came to eating, especially in the lane of hot sauces. My family didn't really do spicy. We're white as fuck. From Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Do you think we're seasoning our meats? No. Do you think we're having like a little Caribbean flavor on there? I think we're really challenging our palates? No, we eat Miracle Whip by the spoonful, okay? So. Anyways, I came from a super basic family like that. Met my best friend. One of my best friends. In grade nine. So, I grew up skiing and snowboarding. And, uh... He snowboarded too, so... We're in grade nine. We're getting to be best boys. We start smoking weed together. So, we would have these weekend rituals where at school we'd have like our 20 bucks like I would get allowance his parents were pretty stacked so he could always just have money we'd pool our funds we'd find the guy at school that was selling the nugs we had our mainstay dude that always sucked in high school when it's like the dude who you expect you can get on before the weekend hits and he's out and you're like fuck like you're like you got to find your alternate source but our one dude is pretty reliable so we grab our bag and we had a, like a ritual of because he lived out by a ski hill I'd sleep out there for like the weekend. And we go snowboarding and like stealthily get high and just like, you know, have sleepovers and just watch a dumb shit. Be baked as shit. 
and really honestly just be having the best time like the funniest last with your best boy just so coned out of your face amazing i miss those times so much <clears throat> matzah so we'd get we'd take his bus to his house get off his parents would still be at work usually but his parents were pretty like clueless and like let him do kind of what he wanted to do they weren't like too involved And he lived in like a rich kid house out in like a wealthy neighborhood but sort of in the sticks sort of like almost country but wealthy country basically like golf course kid you know And so we wouldn't go snowboarding until Saturday and then also Sunday as well. But on the Friday, we'd always like get to his crib, roll up our little joints, and he had this little bubbler that we named George. So we'd have like our kit with our joints. We'd grab George the bubbler. Yes, I'm lit up. It's Buffalo Wings. Don't judge. And uh, about... I don't know, a couple kilometers down from his, uh, his house, there was a hotel with a restaurant in it. And he was like, yo, he's like, I gotta bring you down. He's like, after we, like the first time I got introduced, we were going through, he would bring me into this trail, or he showed me the first time, he brought me into this trail. This is what became religious as our friendship went on. But the first time, go on the trail, walking through the trail, we like pack up, get cone and whatever, we're all, we're all stoned out of our tree. <clears throat> and uh, we would head down to the restaurant. And at this time it'd be like, 5 p.m., maybe 5.30. Not, yeah, five, about 5 p.m. And we roll into the restaurant. Just cooked. Reeking of bud. But ready to get our grub on. You know that feeling when you're super big? you're in public and you think you're like stealth or trying to be stealth but you're not and you also look like because you're so self-conscious because you're baked you basically like can't look people straight in the eye with confidence you're kind of like they know what's up especially when you're I don't know, think we were 15 14 15 like so young so we walk into this restaurant and there's fucking Nobody in there, basically. We have the place to ourselves. So it's like all attention on us from the server and the bartender. And we like sit at this back table. It's reeking like bud. And he... He used to do this thing when he was high. To try to like... I don't know if he thought he was being smooth or what. But he used to like rub his hands together. And like look... Try to be like slick with the server. And he was like... He was like... Because they didn't normally offer the chicken fingers tossed in sauce. It was just chicken fingers and fries. But he knew the hack of, because he knew, would, like, lived around there and he'd been there. He knew the hack of Frank's Buffalo and I had no clue. So he'd always be like, can I get the uh, chicken fingers and fries but tossed in Frank's? <laughs> and the server would be like, Okay, so like in, and he's like, yeah, tossed in Franks, just like so burnout. And then one day 
he he was so like awkward in his head about being high. He's like he's doing the hands right. He's like, oh, and can I also get a Pepsi? And he like did this thing where he like stretched his face because we were so, so high, and I just burst out dying laughing. So the server's like, clearly these two are just like baked ass idiots. And ever since that day forward, like it's such an inside joke. I always hit him with like the the uh, like the pet like the Pepsi stretchy face. So anyway, the first time the chicken fingers come, I've never had them. I've never had Frank's. I've never had a buffalo anything. In my head, that time a buffalo was a buffalo, like a big animal, not a sauce. Well. Not a hot sauce that originated in a place in America, you know? So I'm lit. And you guys know how good food tastes when you're lit. Got the munchies, right? I've been in little chicken fingers. My life changed instantly. My taste buds were transported to another realm. And from then on, I've been hooked on buffalo chicken. Tenders. Now, because I was so juvenile and amateur in this buffalo chicken world, and yes, I'm going to clear this whole board of chicken. Don't worry about it. It's easy. <clears throat> it took me some years to work up to wings. And then I found wings, and wings took it to a whole nother level. The crisp the meat just actually being close to the bone. And then from there, I low key used to not really clear the bone. I used to leave bits and pieces and shit on the end. And then I slowly but surely learned about Clearing your bone. And that's how I came to be the chicken savage that you know and love before you. So here I am. For your viewing pleasure, being a savage. Because I've learned that when it comes to buffalo chicken, fried chicken, wings, it's the only way to be. Respect the death of the animal. And use it. For what it's worth. Now I mean. Also, get baked with your boy and go for a plate. Truly, one of life. Simple pleasures. And to that story. We slam a cheers and a final countdown. <sighs> With sweat under my eyes and probably a very red face, I say to you that meal could have been no better. That was awesome. <laughs> I am extremely satisfied with what just happened here. Okay, to the next one. You know what to do. Be good, live well. Stay true.